Action Council and the Ad Council. You're back in the booth, and it's time for Jay Lee's Scrubs of the Week. <laughs> That's a nice touch. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, Scrubs of the Week, man. Now, R.I.P. Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Um, hey, so go ahead and give your definition of a scrub because we haven't done this in a while. So what's your definition of a scrub, sir? Well, it varies from game to game, situation of the game. But overall, just somebody that's just that has no business being where they are. They just make a dumb decision. And just you just have to look and say, oh, you scrub. You right. never had it in you in the first place. And and we have learned that also a scrub can 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 be not a scrub, but then back to a scrub very quickly. Oh, it's real quick. You can go from a scrub to, okay, I see you. Okay. Okay, I see you. Uh-huh. uh-huh. But... But at some point in time, uh, there's probably only been four or five guys that have never been a scrub. Okay. But you, but it, it, it's not hard to make the scrub list. <laughs> all it takes, all it takes is one time. All it takes. So go ahead. I'm say, not hearing anything. You're not hearing. You're not hearing anything. No. You sure? Did you unplug yourself? I might have. I think you unplugged yourself, sir. Turn. You can. You can turn the knob too. You can turn. One. Turn the knob. Turn, turn that no no turn it's a short in my headphone cords oh okay. that's what it is we oh, back okay. we back, we back. <laughs> all right so here you go get the booth budget up <laughs> <laughs> all right so scrub number five let's go number five the entire nba draft <laughs> this is one of those situations where you're at the club you went out with your boy you're horny you got a pocket full of rubbers in a hotel room or you got an empty house and the bar, the DJ says last call. The club's about to close, and now you're scrambling to find somebody to take home with you. That's what this draft was like. <laughs> wow. So now that you, bad. yeah. So now, wow. not only do you end up with the duff, the designated ugly fat chick. Wow. wow. <laughs> but your boy has one too. So somehow both of y'all end up with the designated ugly fat chick. And now you have to go home. That's what this NBA draft was. In, in, in Two the, rounds of designated ugly fat chicks. That nobody wanted. That nobody wanted. Next up. Next up. Terrence Jennings. Who you, the hell is Terrence Jennings? Exactly. <laughs> you average nine points and four rebounds in your 6'10 at Louisville, and you think you can declare for the NBA draft. Did he get drafted? Hell no, he didn't get oh, drafted. Sorry. Like, no, no, he wouldn't be on the list if he got drafted. <laughs> <laughs> you average nine points and five rebounds. Don't I don't even think he started for Louisville. He didn't get in trouble. He wasn't academically ineligible. He thinks he he's ready to take his talents to the league. Goes undrafted, and he seems surprised. <laughs> like they showed him, and he was just like, "I just you know I have to work hard and prepare and get ready to go make the team the hard way." You barely made Louisville. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you weren't even a contributor there, and you think you're supposed to be in the league. So Terrence Jennings definitely on the list. He's not coming off. Next up, get your passport ready. <laughs> Damn. Next up, Istanbul for him. Go ahead. Next My boy up. Scotty Hobson. We just got off the phone with Pancras a little while ago. I didn't want to go in too tough on him. Go ahead. Scotty Hobson has one of the best haircuts. Okay. In America, he's got the high top fade with the part in it. Too bad his game was not as good as his haircut. Damn. He averaged 17 points a game this year, but he struggled, man. Too too much struggle. Too much struggle. Couldn't put it together consistently. Didn't dominate at any point in time. A lot of players were better than him. Should have stayed in school. Actually, he's been trying to get to the league since he left high school. He should have left earlier. He, you've been exposed as a mediocre ball player by staying in school too exposed. long. He stayed in school too long. Next up, Jeremy Richmond. This kind of surprised me. And then I read some more, and I'm like, oh, he's a knucklehead. Yeah, he's, he's a head case. Go ahead. He's a bit of a head case. Left Illinois after one year. Me personally, I thought he was young, he was athletic, somebody might take a chance on him in the first round, and then it just started to come out that he was just such a, an idiot. He made bad decision after bad decision, and uh, now he's pretty much destined to be the next Amari Sawyer. Mm. Mm. You know you know what Amari Sawyer's doing right now? What is he doing right now? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, no, you Man. know what? I, I saw online or something like that. He was playing in some, like, rec league here. Oh, okay, that's in, good. In Chicago. Jesus. Just, just, Amari just, Sawyer. Just dumb mistakes. Last one, number one, and and this is Jim Riggleman is in contention to be the all-time scrub, uh, or as we like to call him, what scrub a dub dub. He uh, coaches the Nationals, former Cubs uh, manager. Mm-hmm. Decided that you know what, this franchise has sucked the entire time I've been here. Before <laughs> I got here, 
We won eleven. What did they win? Eleven of their last twelve. Like Fifteen, like yeah, eleven of sixteen, 11 of 16 something, like, yeah, something like that. Got them to a game under five hundred, right? And all of a sudden, thought he was Joe Torre, <laughs> <laughs> and told the general manager, "Unless we extend my contract right now, I'm not getting on the team bus." <laughs> and you know what they did? They shut the door and drove off, <laughs> and left his dumb ass standing there, staring at the bus. <laughs> Lesson to be learned from this. <laughs> Don't let your pride override your paycheck. Exactly. Now you are going to be broke because you're never going to get hired again. Nope. How dare you say I'm not getting on the bus <laughs> unless y'all extend my contract right now. Dude, it is June. <laughs> the baseball season is not over until when? September? October? October. Dude, you haven't even reached the halfway point yet. <laughs> You've won maybe five games your entire life, and you want to lay down the ultimatum. And they didn't even get that clown his luggage off the bus. <laughs> so thank you, Jim Riggleman, for ruining your life and your kids <laughs> and giving up your seat on the bus. Uh, bonus. Bonus. I got, got a bonus. bonus I got a bonus. Scrub. What you got for me? Um, bonus scrub is Meta World Peace, aka Ron Artest. Can someone please explain to me what the hell Ron is doing? Um, to quote Dave Chappelle, Rick James, cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> for you to think at any point in time it is okay to change your name to Meta World Peace. Now, what the hell is Meta? I, meta is supposed to be some Buddhism, boo, Buddhism meaning, uh, world peace. So technically, it's, it's world, world peace, peace, world, world, world yeah. peace, world peace. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, why not just change your name to Meta? Look, man, and make it sound deep and intellectual. What do you put on my jersey? But see, he's gonna put peace. peace, peace or world peace, world peace or peace, one of the two. Now, here's here's the thing. There is someone that you can kind of correlate this with and compare it to. Ron Artest has found some kind of, like, peace in his life. Okay. And to me, I think he's gotten a little soft because of it. I compare it to Eminem. I loved Eminem when he hated his mom when, when, yeah. and wanted to kill his when baby mom. on drugs. Exactly. He's not the same. He's been selling albums because he's Eminem. Yeah. But it's just, I, I just liked his music more when he was angry. I liked Ron Artest when he was breaking people's backs. <laughs> so you like people's noses. So you like Ron Artest run up in the stands? Like I like that. that. I like that Ron Artest because he scared people. He that's scared people. That and that's when he got it done on both ends. Of, now he's a clown. Now, now he's like a clown on on the LA Lakers. Yeah, he still plays decent defense, but like whenever he has the ball in his hand, it's like no. Yeah, he, he's looked at. Oh, he's, come on, man. He's, he's looked at as a, as a joke. Show. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a side show, and I, and I don't like that because I loved Ron Artest when he was just. Punking I mean, everybody. You, you in the know league. the only person that's been able to keep their thug image, but also crossover. Ray Lewis. Like, he was out with yeah. his crew, and they stabbed a, a guy up. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, stabbed him up. Yep. Before the Super Bowl, hopped in the limo and pulled <laughs> off. <laughs> and Ray skated on those charges. And now he is the instrument. Like, when you hear Ray talk now, he's like a, a, a preacher. preacher. Like, yep. dude, you got a body on your hands. You murdered somebody, <laughs> too. And now you want to sit here and preach to me about playing football? I'm going to play because I don't want to get stabbed. Because I know you'll stab me. But... That, that's just wrong. <laughs> Rings erase everything. Remember they that. Do, they Kobe, do. They do. Kobe yep. got it. Ray got it. I got you. Ben so, got it. So so rings are the only thing that can wipe, can can From wash the records away. Can yep. wash blood off your clothes and exactly. That's how, <laughs> and that's, semen or DNA out of a woman's panties that you raise. That's 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 what we do. Uh, next five week, rings are really. He's got some leeway. <laughs> next week we'll be back. Of course, we're doing the top five against the top five um, American wags, women, uh, wives, uh, and girlfriends. So. Who are the top five wives and girlfriends? Give us your list if you want. You can hit us up on, I on got Facebook. I got you can hit question. us on Twitter. Go ahead, man. Uh, what if you've dated multiple athletes? Do, can you make the list for you damn more right. than once? you damn right. So we can have Kim Kardashian like About five times. Time. We can have her top. We, we can give we, her. We can do a top five Kim Kardashian yes, list. Yes, we could. If we wanted to. That chick, boy. Okay. She got a video banging out Ray J. And, yeah, she she and guys still want her. She can she she keeps busy. It's all yeah, right, dude. I don't know if I could. I yeah, could, you could. I don't know if I could date you, a girl who's on know. camera having some guy run all up in her mouth. Like I don't know if I could do that. Yeah, you could. Maybe. Maybe. Probably. Yeah, Maybe. you could. Yeah, you could. 
We'll be back next week. It's a booth with Big Man and Jay Lee. Imagine what that'd be like, man, if you came home and she was watching the DVD. Like, she was mad at you, like y'all fighting one night. Oh, you want to you wanna pull some mess? <laughs> Boom. Press play. <laughs> you can't swing it like Ray J. <laughs> Imagine if she pulled that, man. Imagine if she pulled that. Man. Imagine if she pulled that. That's OJ all over again. Man, we out of here. It's a movie with Big Man and Jay Lee. ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. Be good.